All right, in this video, we are going to look at um, doing some statistics on grouped or bin data. And in this example, I want to show you specifically because uh, StatCrunch has a problem. Um, uh, Pearson may be correcting this, but in this example, you're supposed to find the mean square footage, so X bar of this information of the 5,000 houses. So here's our data. Now you'll notice in the square footage there are thousands, so they have these commas. And this poses a problem for StatCrunch. So it may be fixed in the future here, but when you open it up in StatCrunch, these commas are going to be opening up here. Yep, and it currently does. So when I go to Stat, Summary Stats, Grouped or Binned Data, and I compute the stats on them, so the bins are in the square footage and the frequencies are the counts. Basically, this will show us the mean, what I wanted right there, so I can calculate it. The mean is shown here, but it says, warning, eight bin ob observations were ignored. Why were these eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Because they have commas in them. So let's look at that. 544 is the mean. And if I go back to the homework exercise and put in the 54495 or whatever it is, it's not even asking to round. So there must be some kind of a mistake here. So if we go the 544, what is it? 0.95 and put it in there, we're going to see that it's a problem. It's telling us to do a whole bunch of math there, right? So let's go back to this stat current page. And I'm going to take out the commas. I'm going to pause it and do it manually. A lot of times what you can do is put it into Excel. It's a little easier because here you have to delete and retype, so, but I'll do it here. Okay, you can see that I've taken in all the commas out of them, deleted them, and redid it. So let's go to summary stats and then group to bin data. Redo the information here. And if you need anything else, you know, you got the uh, um, standard deviation and stuff in here already selected as well. So calculate this. And now look at my mean 2414.5 which makes more sense because look at it, it doesn't say to round off or anything so 2414.5 perfect and then the standard deviation well because I did that work and left it on the standard deviation is right there nearest tenth so 915.4 done problem is completed so even in uh, these other problems with grouped or bin data, you can use StatCrunch. Uh, normally there won't be a comma in there because I think most of the values are lower than a, a thousand. But if you do have any problems where you have commas in the numbers, this will pro cause problems in StatCrunch. But this is how you do grouped or bin data.